Hey, hey, friends, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to have you here for today's class. We are gonna move through a feel-good, slow flow. So there are no vinyasa in this class. We are just going to hold every pose for five or more breaths. And at the end of class, you are gonna feel open in the entirety of your body and you are gonna feel calm and relaxed in your mind. If you have blocks, grab two of them and keep them nearby. We'll use those towards the back end of class. If you don't have blocks, no big deal. You can grab a pillow or a bolster or nothing. There will be an option for that as well. Let's go ahead and get feeling good. I have been feeling really tight in my body today, so this class is going to feel really good for me personally, and I hope for you as well. So we're gonna start at the back of our mat. Big toes come to kiss and fold forward with arms extended into child's pose. Just arriving really sweetly, closing down the eyes. Relaxing the forehead. Reaching the hips back to sit on the heels. And at the same time, reaching the arms forward to lengthen through the low back and the top of the back. Starting to deepen the breath, but not trying too hard. Just keep an even, steady, but full pace. And maybe you come up onto your fingertips and bring your child's pose into a little bit of a shoulder stretch, swaying from side to side. Noticing how this even feels like a little stretch in your hips as well. Beautiful. And start to walk your hands back towards your body, bring your body upright. Take an easy seat. And we'll place our right hand by our right hip, grounding down through both sit bones, the tall spine. And on your next inhale, your left arm reaches forward, up and over, drawing a big circle, reaching towards the right side of the room. And on your exhale, peel your elbow back far behind you, open up through the shoulder. The left hand plants by your left hip. Inhale your right arm forward, up and over, draw a big circle, reach to the left side of the room. Spiral your chest open, look up under your right arm. And exhale, draw the elbow back, back, back. And plant the right hand by the right hip. Inhale, left arm up and over, spiral open. Exhale, draw the elbow back. Hand meets the mat. Right hand inhales up and over. Spiral the chest open. And exhale, draw your elbow back. The hand meets the mat. Carry on with your own breath, maybe a little faster, maybe a little slower, lingering in these stretches. Maybe you close down the eyes and shift this fully into your body and move out of your thinking mind. We'll do two more on each side. Exaggerate them. Last one. Beautiful. Roll over your knees. So we'll come into a toes pose position. 
where you can tuck your toes, wait on your heels, and if this is a lot for you, and it will be a lot for, for some of you, you can sit up or you can come back to an easy seat. But if you can uh, put some weight on your toes and in your ankles, that's really gonna be healthy for your feet health. From here, bring the, the navel in, inhale both arms overhead, look up, create space between your ribs and your hip bones, reaching up, 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 energy coming through the fingertips. Exhale both hands through cactus, drawing the elbows back behind you, and then clasping hands or elbows behind the back. Chase the ground with your fists as you open up through the chest. Your collarbone rises towards the sky. Let this be a beautiful, feel-good chest stretch. Feel like you're scooping your heart center skyward. Not so much a back bend, but really moving it into your upper spine. Shining your chest towards the sky. Maybe you add on, nodding your head forward and back. Move nice and slow. There's no rush. And next time your chin is tucked, release your hands, come up to sitting. Shrug your shoulders out. Give them a nice sweet little roll. Untuck the toes. Pat out your toes on the top of the mat or the top of your toes on the mat. <laughs> and then plant your hands, finger pointed forward. Tuck the back toes and send the hips back, back, back first, almost until you're crouching, and then straighten out the legs and adjust yourself into your downward dog. Take slow pedals here. Or tiptoes. Slowly reaching one heel towards the ground straightening through the back of the leg and then alternating and pressing into the other hand. Inhale to tiptoes so both heels rise. Bring the navel in, press into the fleshy part of the pointer finger and the thumb. And exhale, drop both heels. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, drop both heels. Stay for the inhale. And on your next exhale, ripple with the top of your spine first through your high plank. And then drop your hips into a floating up dog so the toes stay tucked, but your chest shines forward, the knees are lifted. Look skyward. Exhale, downward dog. Two more times. Round with your chin to your chest. Start with the front, the top of your spine. On your inhale, come into your up dog. Shine the chest forward, knees lifted, look up. Exhale, downward dog. So nice and slow through your high plank. Inhale to your floating up dog, nice and strong. Knees are lifted. And exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot to the center of the mat and your left foot steps to your left thumb. Stay here for a moment with your back knee lifted, your chest proud, your shoulders down your back. And then drop the back knee, untuck the back toe, come to 90-90 with the knees. And on your exhale, drive your hips forward and down, really focusing on the right side of your hip, opening through your right psoas. Stack your shoulders above your hips.
Now, one thing that you can do in this posture with your back leg, your right back leg in extension, is to deepen the stretch by bringing your opposite shoulder, your left shoulder into flexion. Let's try that now. Inhale your left arm up, bend at the shoulder, and you can use your right hand to deepen, or you can come into cow face arms. See if you can nuzzle your head right in the triangle, that elbow crease of your left arm. And if you can do that, then shift your gaze skyward. See how you can feel that in your right hip. And if cow face is a lot, and just take an assisted stretch with your right hand. Relax the face, release both arms, fingertips come to the mat, shift the hips back in space, straighten through the left leg, point the left toes back towards your face. Draw your left hip back in line with your right hip. Come to a really long spine and take pulses forward. Almost let it be like a wave motion, really natural, really slow. On your inhale, let it bring you up, re-straighten your spine. And on your exhale, sink in. Your inhale brings you up, re-straighten. Exhale, melt in. I always feel like a little jellyfish moving through the water as they kind of pulsate and ripple in their way. I think the concept of water with these more feel-good, intuitive movements it's really important to keep in mind. Letting it kind of be natural. Letting yourself fill up the space that's available. Just like water would. On your next inhale, rebend your leg, come back into your low lunge, tuck the back toe, and this is gonna be a really small movement. We're gonna end up in crescent, but we're gonna get there a slightly different way. From this tuck back toe, just reach the heel back in space and that is gonna lift your knees. Reach the heel back. We're still very low in our crescent. The knee is off the mat. Inhale both arms skyward. See if you can get your forearms by your ears or past them, pointing back. A little bit of effort here, keeping the core in and then straighten through both legs. Maybe you step your back foot up a few feet or a foot or so, and on your exhale, fold forward over the left leg pyramid pose. Bring your right hip down and space has a tendency to open up, which is a different stretch, but bring it down. And we'll find this rocking motion where you can pop the back heel then drop the back heel, and as that drops, bring your front toes up. Then drop your front toes and bring your back heel up. Finding this really gentle rocking motion as we release the back of our neck. Just rocking from our toes to our heel, feeling how it feels different, different sensation depending on where we're at. Just an awareness, not a judgment of it. Then flatten both feet. Give one full breath in this flat foot pyramid pose, really folding over. Then inhale to a half lift. Point your back foot, heel in, toe out. 
Peel your chest open towards the sky and come into triangle pose. So the left hand is reaching down, right hand reaching up. Feel that beautiful side stretch in your right oblique. Breathe easy. Readjust yourself if you have fallen out of your plane. So your shoulders are stacked over one another. Your hips are in line with both of your legs. One more breath here. Then bring the top of your body up with straight legs. Bring your right toe out, so heels in, toes out, and skandasana, side lunge to the left. Right leg is straight, left leg is bent, heel of your left foot is on the ground. Anchor your left arm out and take big circles with your right arm. Forward for three, for two, for one, then back, for three, for two, for one. And next time your arm is up overhead, keep it there. Look up under your arm, spiral your chest skyward if you can. And straighten both legs, release the arm and come into a wide-legged forward fold. Toes are pointed forward. Maybe you grab onto your calves. Maybe your ankles. Reach your hip bones high in the sky as you draw your skull towards the ground. Press into your pinky side toe to stabilize you. Engage the core. The navel is in towards the spine. And then release any trying here. Grab either elbow. And just let yourself be inverted. Anytime your head is below your heart, it's technically an inversion. Reversing the blood flow. So just stay here. Beautiful, maybe you give it one more stretch through, find a little bit more depth. Inhale to a half lift. Turn towards the front of your mat. Bring your left foot so that your heel is out or your heel is in and toes are out. And then step your right foot up, heel in, toe out. Find your yogi squat, malasana. However this looks for you, maybe you're using your elbows to widen your knees. But wherever you are, find a really long spine. Sink the hips as deep as you can. Find a long neck. Maybe you stay there, maybe you take a twist, you plant your left hand, bring your right arm up. And then switch it out, plant your right hand, bring your left arm up. Come back to neutral, straighten out your spine one more time. Plant both hands, step back into downward dog. Beautiful. Find stillness here, press through your hands, bring your chest a little closer to your knees. Reach your heels a little closer to the ground. And 
And then step your right foot to your right thumb. Stay here as you reach your left heel back in space, the left knee is risen. Shine the chest forward. And on your exhale, drop the back knee. Back toes untucked, come to 90-90-ish with the knees. And on your exhale, sink your hips forward and down. Feeling the sensation in your left hip, left psoas. And we'll take that same opposite movement that we did on the other side. Our left leg is an extension. So we're gonna really open up the front chain of the body by inhaling the right arm. Look up. Bend at the right elbow. Maybe you take your left arm in for an assist. Or maybe your left hand comes back behind you for cow face arms. If you are in cow face arms, try to nuzzle your head into the elbow wedge and look up gently. few more breaths. Release your hands, fingertips come to the mat, straighten through your front leg, the hips go back in space. Flex your foot so your right toes are pointing towards your face. Half splits. Take those gentle pulses that we did on the other side, where with your inhale, you find length with your spine and come out of your depth. And on your exhale, you release all the way in. Your inhale expands you coming up. Your exhale folds you in. A few more breaths. On your next inhale, rebend your front leg, find your low lunge, tuck the back toe, reach the back heel back and allow that to lift the back knee. Inhale, both arms overhead, energy coming out of your fingertips. Stay low. Keep your shoulders over your hips, reach energy out of your fingertips. A little bit of effort, but find ease. And then straighten through both legs, shorten your stance. So step your back foot up and fold forward over your right leg. We'll find that same rocking motion. So inhale your back heel up. Exhale, drop the back heel, lift the front toes. Rock forward, bring the back heel up. Drop the heel, lift the front toes. Lift the heel. Drop the heel, lift the toes. Drop the toe, lift the heel. Drop the heel, lift the toes. On your own now, just a few more breaths. A 
Now find stillness in your pyramid. Come up to a half lift. Point your left toes out to the side so your heel is in, your toes are out. Your right hand reaches down. Peel your left hand up towards the sky triangle pose. Feel this beautiful side body stretch. Inhale your body upright. Click your left foot, toes out, heels in, and skandasana, side lunge over to the right. Right leg is bent, left leg is straight. And find a little buoyancy here before we anchor out our right arm and take circles with our left arm forward for three, for two, for one, reverse the circle, for three, for two, for one. And next time your arm is up overhead, keep it there, reach it over. Maybe you look up and under your arm. Then straighten through both legs, toes point forward, Wide-legged forward fold, prasarita. Finding depth here. Reaching your hip bones up and reaching your skull towards the mat. If your head is pretty close to the mat, then shorten your stance, bring your feet closer together. And relax here. Maybe you find a little sway. Grabbing either elbows and just letting your body move. Gentle breaths. With your last exhale here, maybe you pull it in one more time. Then find a yogi squat at the top of your mat. Finding a long spine, letting the hips sink low, letting the neck be long with a gentle tuck of the chin. Beautiful. Sit down all the way onto your mat and we will take our blocks for our final posture. On the medium setting or the low setting, place your blocks stacked right on top of each other. Your head is gonna go on the top block farthest away from you and your upper body is gonna come onto this lower back block. So you can roll down and adjust accordingly. This first block should come right where your shoulder blades start. And then your head should be nice and supported. Bring the bottom of the feet together. Soup to Baddha Konasana, but on blocks. So we're gonna get this beautiful chest stretch, restorative posture, but also at the same time your hips get this beautiful stretch as well. And you can always put pillows under your knees or blocks or keep your legs straight if this is quite intense for you. Release 
any tension in the face. So relax the forehead, the space between the eyebrows. Relax the muscles around and behind the eye. Relax the cheeks, the lips. Relax your jaw so that there is a tooth gap. Relax your throat from any clenching. Relax your shoulders. Let them be heavy. Let your arms be heavy. Let your stomach area relax. Release any clenching from your hips or your glutes. Allow your legs to turn off. Allow your feet to slowly relax and turn off those muscles too. The whole of your body just supported, relaxed, and calm. Know that this is a safe space for you to stay and linger for as long as you would like. Take rest and namaste, my friends. <laughs>